Oh, right, yeah. This did come from comments, because someone commented saying do the blue card compilation. Um, and I'm guessing this is, yeah, them silly jokes he does. But I just looked up for the um, blue card compilation, and there is like a four-hour one, a four-hour video, but... Um, uh, this come up as well, so I'm guessing it is, but it doesn't actually say blue card compilation, uh, but I think it is. So, yeah. Well, we'll see anyway. It's Norm. You can't go wrong with a bit of Norm, but yeah. Let's go. Yeah, right, well, it's time to do jokes. <laughs> like, I'm a Christian, right? I don't I didn't like know that. Are you a Christian? Yes. Do you go to, do you watch the gladiators and things like that? Oh, yeah. What the fuck does that mean? Christians. No, I just go to fucking military funerals and go, fucking faggots. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, I... You haven't changed one bit. No, <laughs> no listen, really No, listen, <laughs> Kevin. Visitors to New York's Times Square this winter are in for a bit of a surprise. Crazy people will be shooting at them. <laughs> <laughs> Some gold-plated chains would make a nice retirement gift for a very, very good slave. <laughs> well, this Are was, you serious? Well, this was written. Are you serious? This was written years Did ago. Did you just write that? I didn't write Did it. Did you just say that? No, I read it, yes. <laughs> you read that? <laughs> it was an old. It was... President Clinton said that if Dr. King were alive today, he would have supported the deployment of U.S. troops to Bosnia. Later, when asked how he could use the late civil rights leader's name in such a self-serving manner, Clinton hopped a plane to England and lit up a big fat joint. <laughs> hey, for the ninth consecutive year, uh, Nick, JetBlue Air Airline ranked first for satisfaction among all North American airlines. But you know what ranked least in satisfaction? 9-11 Airlines. <laughs> what a terrible name for an airline. It reminds me of that tragedy. <laughs> oh, 9-11. You know? Oh, don't laugh at 9-11. 9-11. I tried to tell him not to go, laugh. Adam. I know. I walked through blood and bones in the streets of Manhattan trying to find my brother. Jesus. Yeah, he was in northern Canada. <laughs> Sapphire called the first lady a, quote, congenital liar. Clinton responded by saying Sapphire, quote, deserves a pop in the nose. Sapphire replied by offering to fight Bill Clinton, quote, anytime, any place. <laughs> the president answered, quote, how about right now? Then hopped a plane to England and lit up a big fat joint. Why is there an app for everything except how to rape a baby? <laughs> Jesus. All joking aside, I know you love to joke, Bob Dole, you know, but that guy, he's a war hero, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's, he gave his, his uh, arm for his country. You know, he went through all these debilitating injuries during the war for his country. It was great. And in all fairness, though, Bill Clinton also, he had a, a kind of some war injury. Really? You know? Yeah. When he was in England there during the Vietnam War, I heard he, uh, <laughs> I heard he, uh, he had a bad injury. He burned his mouth on a bong. Really? Are you That's currently in a relationship or are you playing the field? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? What are you, retarded? Are you, no, are you really having a relationship? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm serious. And, of course, it was very inspiring to see President Clinton up here on crutches making a speech. I mean, I thought that was just uh, amazing, you know. Uh, I mean, it's been difficult for the president. You know, he can't jog now, and uh, he needs help getting around. And he still, you know, he still uh, occasionally suffers great pain, you know. Uh, on the upside, you got your medical marijuana, so that's, uh, you know. <laughs> you must inhale, sir. It's the only way you're going to get better. It's... <laughs> Your friend made the shocking statement that Hollywood is, quote, run by Jews. <laughs> 
In response, outraged Jewish organizations made it snow in New York in April. I met, in, in the airport, I met uh, Matlock. Uh, Matlock is uh, Andy Griffin. Yeah, Andy he used to call himself Andy Griffin. Now he goes by Ben Matlock. <laughs> really calls himself Ben Matlock. But, uh, so, uh, yeah, I went into the airport, and he was in there, and you know the bookstores they have in the, in the, in the oh, airports? yeah, yeah, sure. So he's in there, he's reading a big, one of the big thick mm. books, you know, mm -hmm. smart guy, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm standing over there, I'm, I look, I'm leafing through a Jughead comic, I see him over there. <laughs> so I think to myself, I say, hey, I'm going to sidle up beside uh, old Ben Matlock, yeah. and uh, I'm going to grab one of them big books myself, he didn't have to know nothing. Sure. Pretty soon we get in a conversation, mm -hmm. we start talking, and, uh, and I, I find out uh, how he ever solved that case where Claude, uh, Claude Aikens killed him. You remember, anyways, whatever. <laughs> I wanted to talk to right. him. Uh -huh. So uh, take 10 minutes, I'm talking to him, I'm talking to him, he's very friendly, very mm -hmm. outgoing and everything like that. And uh, it was really nice. And all of a sudden I realized it wasn't Ben Matlock at all. Really? <laughs> It's not Andy Griffith? No, just some old man. And uh, <laughs> now, don't you think that this guy has a, a moral, you know, a responsibility to tell people instantly that he's not Matlock? I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's a good question. I never thought of that. Finally, folks, next week, Jews everywhere will be <laughs> celebrating the holiday of Yom Kippur. Or as non-Jews refer to it, Wednesday. <laughs> this week in Minneapolis, the Minnesota Obesity Center officially opened. Its goals? To find ways to identify behaviors that lead to obesity. Also, it's a good place to meet fat chicks. <laughs> in New York this week, Sammy the Bull Gravano was sentenced to just five years in prison for committing 19 murders. You better be careful, though, because New York has just passed a tough new law. 20 strikes and you're out. <laughs> and finally, John Wayne Bobbitt is going to be an adult film star. He has been signed to play himself in the John Wayne Bobbitt story. The part of his severed penis will be portrayed by Polly Shore. Do we know why people are here? You don't know. Do you know why you're heterosexual? You don't know why. Uh, no, I don't know. Well, Maybe the abnormal gene would be hetero. That's true. Uh -huh. Hey, maybe the normal right. gene would be uh, those maybe ladies it would be that normal to be gay. That cut their cocks into vaginas. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you're looking to make it in standard television, you're not going the right. Oh no, route. no, no! You're not going the right route. <laughs> once we, no, once I get on There's, Hulu, you're not sending this tape to CBS. I, no, okay. once I get on Hulu, the whole no. act changes. <laughs> no, do you know that that you are a cis male? Have you ever heard of that term? A what? cis male. Cis male. C-Y-S-M-A-L-A. So what it means is that you are a man. You're born a man. Well, as far as you know. As far as I know. And you identify yourself as a man. Yes. That's a cis male. Now, I don't understand. Where does that... Is this a new phrase? Yes. It's a way of marginalizing a normal person. <laughs> <laughs> Christy Brinkley told reporters this week that her marriage to Billy Joel was over long before their divorce. The key moment, she said, came when she realized that she was Christy Brinkley and that she was married to Billy Joel. Well, my family comes from Russia. They're Russian Jews. Oh. Russian and Jews is more like it. One of the biggest anti-Semites I've ever known. <laughs> Russian a, away from Jews? I had a bar mitzvah. <laughs> what? I had a bar mitzvah, Norm. Yeah. You did? Yeah. Wait, are you Jewish? Yes. Get the <laughs> no, no, I'm kidding. I love, I love the Jewish people. <laughs> yeah. and Albert Fish was born on this day in New York City in 1870. Do you know the obituaries is concerning me? I'm a little right. worried because people are dying in alphabetical order. <laughs> Ooh, who the fuck is Albert Fish? What? Who the fuck is Albert Fish? Oh, Albert Fish? I've never heard of that guy. He was known as the Gray Man. The Grain Man? The Grey oh, Man. Grain. The, the Werewolf of Wisteria. I, um... Yeah. You know why he was known as the Grey Man? Because when they... He was a serial killer. He, uh -huh. ki he yeah. killed... He, he slayed children and ate them. He was a cannibal. Uh-huh. But when they, the police asked a, a woman to describe him, and she said, 
he was gray Man. in both appearances and demeanor. <laughs> Very bad mm. description. This is like Arsenio when it was woo. <laughs> yeah, was, woo. I, We're all. But anyway, I'm pretending I know who Albert Gray is. I didn't. No, no, Albert Fish. Oh, you're a New Yorker. So anyways, he was a child rapist and cannibal, as I explained. <laughs> when he says child Jesus rapist, Christ. you try not to laugh when he looks at you. Oh, come on, like... man. <laughs> it's not funny. I know it's not, but I know, you, but I know you want people to laugh. <laughs> but say, well, Fish whatever. boasted that he had children in every state. Now, I would not boast about that. I don't think you would. I don't think, I don't think you'd do it, but if you did do it, you certainly wouldn't boast about not it. You, you'd keep the, take that to the grave with you, but he boasted. <laughs> Well, they anyway, say they eventually so, all sing like a canary. They, they do say that? About murder as well. Yeah, they're yeah. All, they, they, they want, brag to a friend. To caught, right. yeah. When Norm Bragg... Oh, sh but Fish, this is interesting, Fish chose his victims. He only chose victims who were either mentally handicapped. Now, don't laugh at this next part, <laughs> please. But you know he wants you to, right? No, if you laugh at this next part. Okay, and I'm not Fish chose water. victims who were either mentally handicapped or African American. <laughs> oh, come on. Why would you think that's funny? God damn, Fred. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was the worst part of the story. Okay, but why do you think he did that? What would be the explanation? Why would he only attack, why, why would his victims that he chose only be either mentally handicapped or African American? Because people don't, in those days, didn't care when those people were vanished. That's, that's you're right. thinking like right. Albert Fish now. <laughs> and prostitutes, that's why they kill that's right. prostitutes. Exactly. That's right. Exactly. Nobody right. really cares no. about prostitutes. Well, it's like that, that comedian that would rape people at comedy clubs, oh, no, in colleges. Yes, Vince Champ. They always said his, his <laughs> great gimmick was that people would think who did it, and they never, because he'd go on to another town and another college, but yeah. when people say, what about the comic? Yeah. Mm. Maybe the worst gimmick a comic ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, but you were exactly right. That's why Albert Fish killed only mentally handicapped <laughs> and <laughs> African Americans. What about, okay. I thought you'd laugh at African Americans again, <laughs> that they were. <laughs> no, I guess I know him. I know he'll do something. That's. That's outrageous. How well, it's dare kind you? of outrageous for you. But anyways, uh, Fish tortured, mutilated, and murdered the youngsters, they were children, with a meat cleaver, a butcher knife, and a small handsaw. Oh, Jesus. God, you... This is the topical portion? Of yeah. This is the birthday. Thing. And then he solidified his reputation as the most vicious child slayer in criminal history. Oh, Though you know barely was? literate, Fish wrote taunting letters to the parents of his victims, gruesomely detailing Jesus. how he slayed, butchered, cooked, and then with great enjoyment dined on their offspring. He would inevitably declare that a child's roasted rump was the most toothsome dish in all of gastronomy. <laughs> gastronomy. <laughs> Additionally, I, Fish was a, a masochist. Get this. And he would insert wool doused with lighter fluid into his own anus and set it alight for his own enjoyment. Fish was finally arrested, and he immediately began confessing to killing 700 children. Get out of here. Yes. And he was, he was dizzyingly happy about it. Smiled as he described the grisly details of the tortures and the murders, appearing to the detectives. And one of the detectives said he appeared as the devil himself. I mean, uh, this Albert... The, I mean, this guy was a real jerk. <laughs> now I know there was no Albert Fish. And here, do you know what? This has been because I've seen these, but I think when we first started doing Norm, most of these clips. Not all of them, though. I have to say, there's, there is a lot of new things I haven't seen. But I forgot how funny... So I forgot how funny the... Because I thought of that, and I was trying to think of that the other day. What is the punchline to the frog? Because I remember doing that. But, yeah. Some of these, like... It's funny, like, you remember them. But then you watch them and you like you realize there's so much you forgot about. 
it's his little like where he just deviates like and goes do you know what else has been making me laugh in this is is when you know he's like basically you you know he's about to be silly and funny but he does this like serious nod as if he's a professor talking discussing something with another professor like that gets me every, it's his like yeah like do you know what I mean that nod of like he's actually being serious like he yeah hold on well actually i'm going to pause here just so hopefully i don't have to cut anything out it should help with the copyright but yeah uh yeah i'll do part two now see